What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this cool Instagram pop out effect in Photoshop. With the huge number of photos on Instagram, sometimes you have to rely on a little gimmick to catch somebody's attention. This effect looks cool, but still looks pretty professional, so it'll work well on most accounts. We post new videos and resources every week, so make sure you hit subscribe and follow us on social media using the links in the description. Also check out newlayer.com and sign up for the email list to get special offers that are only available for email subscribers. Let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is create a new document. So I'm going to come up and click File, New. And I'm going to set the width to 1080 and the height to 1080 and hit Create. Next, I'm going to click on the ruler up here. And if these aren't showing, you can press Control R to show and hide those. And I'm going to click and drag a guide down. And if I hold shift now, it'll move in 10 pixel increments. So I'm going to create one guide 100 pixels from the top. And then I'm going to do the same thing and create a guide 100 pixels from the bottom. Next, I'm going to come into my files and drag the image that I'm going to use into Photoshop. And I'm going to scale it up, keeping in mind that whatever passes those guides is what is going to pop out in my image. You can see that his shoe and the top of his head and his hair is popping out over those guides, so that's what's going to pop out in our effect. And I'm going to increase the size of this just a little bit more. Next, I'll come over to my rectangle tool and click on the canvas. And I'm going to create a rectangle that's 1080 wide and 100 pixels high. And I'm going to drag that into place at the top. I'm going to come down to my layers panel and double click that thumbnail to open the color picker and change the color of that frame to white and hit OK. Then I'll hit Control J to duplicate that layer and drag it down to the bottom. Next, I'm going to come over to my Layers panel and select my image. And I'll press Control J to duplicate that. And then Control Shift right bracket to bring it to the top in my Layers panel. Next, we need to cut out the parts of the body that are going to be popping out. I like to use the Pen tool for this because it provides the smoothest results, but you can mask this off however you want. So holding control, I'm going to come down and click the new mask icon, and that's going to create a new vector mask instead of a new layer mask like default. And then I'll choose my pen tool. Now I'm going to zoom in and start with the top of the head. You don't need to cut out the whole body, just basically the part that's going to be popping out and a little bit beneath that. So I'll start here, and using my pen tool, I will just cut out the top of the head. Since this is just going on social media, it doesn't have to be super accurate. Now if it gets hard to see because your shape is covering up what you're trying to cut out, you could change the opacity of this layer while you're working on it by pressing any numbers on the keypad. So I'm going to press 1-0 to quickly change that to 10% opacity and keep cutting it out. I'm going to get this little hair detail here to make it look as good as it can. And you'll notice that I'm just cutting it out roughly. You don't have to get all the details if you don't want. Now I'll hold space and drag down to the bottom and do the same with the shoe that's popping out. And again, I'll press 1-0 quickly to change that to 10% opacity. Now that I have those shapes made, I'll press A or come over to my direct selection tool and I'll make sure that I have the shape that's drawn around the foot selected and press Control X to cut that. Then I'll click and select my vector mask and press Control V. I'll do the same thing with the shape that's cutting out the hair. So I'll select that layer. Using the direct selection tool, I'll drag over that selection. Press Control X to cut it and click my vector mask and Control V to paste it. Now if I hide the guides, you can see that we already have a nice pop out effect. There's a couple more details we can add just to spice it up a bit. So I'm going to click this top frame layer and I'm going to come down and create a new blank layer. And then I'll come over and select my brush tool and make sure that I'm using black. And you can press the right and left bracket keys on your keyboard to shrink your brush. And I'm going to right click and make sure that I have the hardness set to 0%. So what I want to do now is draw a little shadow that's going to make it look like the foot is popping out and is more 3D. So I'm just going to click and drag. And again, it doesn't have to be super accurate. And then I'm going to set the opacity of that layer to 35%. Next, I'll come down and add a layer mask to that layer. And if it's not showing in your toolbar, you can click and hold this little ellipsis icon. And I'm going to come down and select my gradient tool. 
What we're gonna use is a simple black to white gradient. So I'm gonna come up and click my gradient and I'm gonna select the left stop and make sure that it's set to black and hit okay. And I'm gonna check the right stop and make sure that's set to white. You wanna make sure the opacity is set to 100% and that you have this first button checked, which is just your standard linear gradient. So with the layer mask selected, I'm gonna click from the right and drag to the left and that's just gonna fade out the shadow under the shoe. And you might have to redo this a few times to get the exact effect you're looking for. So that's pretty good. Next, I'm gonna click my top layer and create a new blank layer. And again, I'm gonna press B to choose my brush tool and increase the size a little bit. And then using black, I'm just gonna paint over the edge of this shoe. Next, I'll hold Alt and click the line between that shadow layer and my pop-out image. And you'll see that it applies that shadow only to the popped out part. Then I'll change the opacity for that shadow to about 65%. And that just adds a little extra depth to the shoe there. You can see when you're viewing this image in somebody's feed that it stands out. It's not the same size and it has the white at the top and the bottom that makes it look like it's embedded in the website rather than just a picture sitting on top. That's it for today guys. If you liked the video, hit subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment below and let me know what you want to learn next. Your feedback helps us create new content, so it's really helpful. I'm JT Shaver for New Layer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.